what is up guys thank you for watching franco tv now what i am about to show you guys is something completely unexpected i'm actually in the process of working on another video when something out of the ordinary happened completely not even part of the video um happened right above my head what i'm about to show you is something that i have never seen before in my life i've seen some weird stuff at Area 51 and all over some other areas that I've adventured to. This, by far, is either the biggest or the strangest, just because of how it looked. I have heard of satellites breaking in the atmosphere, crashing into the ocean, and they usually kind of fall in a bit of a meteor effect. In fact, this is how it looks like. What's going on? I don't know. Are you kidding me? Is that like a like? What? That's more than a What happened to me tonight, which is very weird, is that this is a perfect line with gaps in the middle. This could be some meteor thing. This could be some rocket. I don't know, but I just wanted to share it with you guys because I have to work in another video and I wanted to throw this out there really quick so you guys could see it. But this is what happened to me tonight. Check this out. I'm trying to make my way back. The good news is it stopped raining. But it is freaking cold. It looked like it cleared up too. Oh, look at that. I have never seen something like that before. And now for something completely different. The former National Intelligence Director is revealing a new government report on UFOs will be full of never before seen or heard intel. Frankly, there are a lot more sightings than have been made public. We're talking about objects that, um, frankly, um, engage in actions that are difficult to explain, that um, movements that, uh, that are hard to replicate, that we don't have the technology for. Uh, so part of the evidence apparently is going to show UFOs or some, you know, they're just unidentified objects breaking the sound barrier without a sonic boom. How is that possible? Well, I think that's probably the crux of the problem, that we are seeing these, let's call them vehicles, if you will, that are incurring into controlled U.S. airspace that are displaying performance characteristics that are frankly well beyond anything that we can either replicate or, or in some cases really even understand. So
and it's, it's someone or something else. I can't wait for this report to come out. Lou, thank you very much for joining us today. Now, the Pentagon has been talking about declassifying secret aerial objects that they have seen or encountered while other military aircrafts are in the airspace. Could this be one of them? I don't know, but there has been a lot of discussion about this topic that has been going on. It is something that I am very invested in, and could this be part of that? I hope it is. If it isn't, oh well, but I hope you guys like what you've seen. This is something really quick I wanted to share with you guys. Let me know what you think. What do you think it could be? Let me know in the comments below, because I am definitely interested in knowing your feedback as well. Till then, I will see you guys in the next adventure. Bye guys! Look at that! I have never seen something like that before.